Oh, slightly better camera angle and lighting. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Are you ready to do some more side quests? Well, you better be because the approach practice range is right here and that's where I'm going. Huh? You want to know what I'm doing? Hey, sure. When you're close to the green, use an approach shot to hit with control. It can improve your score. I already showed that guy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk to the people who are actually swinging clubs last, because that's where the side quest stars are. You know the pitch and putt technique? The shot is a base for approach shots. You should try it with all your clubs. And I'll say no this time. <laughs> it's a chip shot. The basis for approach learning other techniques after mastering leads to success. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the condition of the ball on the ground will affect the approach. Consider to lie on the greens. Oh, 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 oh shoot! I clicked too fast. I'm sorry. And <laughs> the green slope when you hit. All right. So who should I do first? Lady, man, lady, man, lady. Ladies first. <laughs> I'm using a chip approach. Want to learn it? Sure. If an obstacles are within 60 yards of the green, you can't roll on. Instead, carry it to the green and then roll. Actually, you could probably do. A low pitch and run shot with all that green to work with, but let's just play it her way. <laughs> In these conditions, use a chip shot. You need a 20 yard carry to get to one putt away and save par. First, choose an approach, then a club. By the way, she's giving you a hypothetical scenario that, you know, you gotta save par from just off the green. Because, you know, we're not really playing for score here. This is a practice grounds and whatnot, and yeah. <laughs> and that's a pretty good shot, so I'm probably gonna hit mine a little further than that, though. Did you get that? Wanna try? Sure! Really, ideally, you wouldn't want to stop your ball short of the hole, you'd want to stop it past the hole, because when you hit your ball onto a flatter surface, what happens is you don't have to move the cursor when you putt, because the, as you noticed, the cursor is always pointing directly at the hole, so really you'd want to do something like, say, this to get over to the hole and... no! Well, you know what, that works too! <laughs> wow! Good job! I have to practice to keep up! Woo! And yeah, if, if I wouldn't have got it in the hole, it would have stopped a little bit past the hole, and then I would have had an easy one putt back to the hole. I use running in my approach. Want me to teach you? Sure. This is what I kind of taught earlier on with the, the two iron, <laughs> you know, near the green. Running is easier when there are no obstacles within 60 yards of the green. Use a three iron or nine iron to approach the green. When you aim for the pin from a clear spot, use run. First choose an approach, then a club. Use a five iron to carry the ball to the green and roll it in. Well, he's probably not going to roll it in. And why is he using a 30 approach gauge? Why is he using the 60? It's kind of weird. I'm going to use the 30 in mine. See, it's simple. Want to try? First choose an approach. Next choose a club. Okay, no, shoot. So yeah, he, he was using this gauge here, but really, I, I would recommend using this gauge, if anything. So anyway, I'm going to... Right, actually, I'm going to do my 2 iron. <laughs> and I'm going to hit it about there, with top spin on the ball, holding up on there, and up a little, a little bit of far. That's, that's okay. Maybe that shouldn't have did the top spin. But that's not bad. At first it's tough, but it's useful, so practice hard. Yeah, I try it again. See, it's still past the hole, so I would have still made the, the two putt there. All right, no messing, up, <clears throat> no messing around here, excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it like there. Actually, it's maybe a little bit short, but maybe not. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, ideally, at that spot, you wanna hit past the green. You got the idea, try putting spin on it too. I kind of was, I oh, forget about it. <laughs> All right, so if you look at the stars here, yep, shot lesson one, two, approach lesson one, two are completed. And if you'd like, you can have some fun here by practicing. Yeah, you can actually practice anywhere you'd like around these parts of the practice areas in the game. And I missed that shot, so it's probably not going to be on the green. But yeah, it's a pretty neat thing because you can practice pretty much any shot that you'd like. Uh, with the setups that they have, and you can also change the uh, wind direction and wind speed. It's all pretty, pretty self-explanatory, really. And uh, like, like, let's say you wanted to say try hitting a bunker shot. Just put yourself in the bunker. Look at that! You're in the bunker. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit it about there because the bunker is gonna cut off some distance. Mm, that would be a decent approach. 
See, uh, bunker shots are a little bit unpredictable because it's 70, uh, 85 percent in that range. So you gotta kinda take a guess at the stuff. And another a thing that I have fun doing around me here is uh, trying to make hard shots, basically. Like, just seeing if I can make any sort of shot, because I can basically keep adjusting myself infinitely. So let's just see if I can make this shot for kicks. Uh, probably not, because I mishit the, uh, yeah hit the impact area there. By the way, that bar under the impact area indicates how far away you've got, I should say, the range that you've got to avoid duffing, and that's gonna be short too. Actually, I should be playing a stronger club, shouldn't I? But yeah, <laughs> that uh, if you're outside that range of the bar underneath the impact area, that is going to cause you quite a bit of ire, because your ball probably won't go very far. Let's see here, will it go? I should also be aiming a little bit left, I can tell, so let's notch it over a bit and hit a little bit harder. <laughs> yeah, this is really a great way to practice your chips to just kind of push uh, the game to its limits, I guess you could say, to see what you can potentially do in your shot making. Uh, but you could be doing this for hours, just saying. <laughs> and oh, 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 yeah, there we go! <laughs> Pretty much any shot is makeable. It's just, you know, it's kind of difficult to figure out. <laughs> anyway, I'm having too much fun at the practice range, so let's go to another practice range. <laughs> this is the practice putting, putting green. So it's really not a range so much as it is a green. You can't you can't practice your chips around here though. It's it's unfortunate, but you can do it at the other place. Uh, do you know the saying putting has no form? Well, yes, actually. But you have to reach a cup. It'll never sink otherwise. Yeah, never leave yourself short. Never. It means that to seek the ball, any form is fine. Yeah. Uh, balls roll downhill quickly, so putt softly. If you can, hit harder when putting uphill. Uh, it actually kind of varies. Um, I mean, with the uphill, yeah, you have to hit harder. But when it comes to putting downhill, you might still want to hit it at the same amount that you would hit it on a flat putt. Because you still want to make it to the hole. <laughs> and, and you got a pretty decent amount of give. I guess you could say when you're hitting to the hole, uh, in that if you hit the hole, it'll most likely go in unless you're hitting it really fast. I'm not master like Mario, but my putting's great. How about it? Not right now, actually, but I will in a sec. <laughs> the arrows on the green point downhill. Read the arrows to see where the ball will roll. Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, you can't practice on the green, though, but my dream is to win the club tournament. Becoming club champ is the greatest honor. And one more. They say Mario's putting is unbelievable. If only I could putt like Mario. I'd lower my score. Keep at it, man. Just keep at it. Alright, let's give this putting contest a try. Here we go! I can hit that circle seven times out of ten. If you can do it seven or more times, you win! Let's go! So yeah, you gotta get your ball within the circle. Preferably in the hole, actually. <laughs> let's see if I can actually make putts. Aww, well that still's gonna count as a point. Oh my gosh! I don't know you made one! He's just so excited about my putt, I just crazy. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it though. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I was doing it made too! Yeah, he does that every time basically, and I think I overhit that putt. Well maybe not. That's it uh, should be okay, it's gonna stay within the within the range. Mm, it's notch it a little bit over to there. Actually maybe it's a little too much. And put it again. <laughs> I guess he gets really excited no matter the putts. Well, actually, maybe he doesn't, because if I miss, he won't be so pleased. But since I'm probably not going to miss getting in the circle, it's probably going to be all excitement the whole way through. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. What is this craziness? These putts are easy. <laughs> actually, I'm kind of rushing through this a little bit. Tap this up and 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 and. <laughs> yeah, I hit it at full this time. Go 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 go! I figured that the br I mean the downhill portion just after the uphill portion would carry it to the hole, but I guess not. <laughs> hit it a little bit to the right and a little bit uphill. Go 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 go! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and one more. Don't move the cursor, just hit at the same spot on the gauge. There we go! Woo! 
Here's something else, kid. Oh, I know just how good your putting is. Oh yeah! Oh, I got a level up from that. Woo! Uh, let's straighten out my shots. And hold on a sec. Uh, you won't play me again. That's too bad. That's too bad. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I have enough time to start a match this part, or maybe I do, I don't know, let's see here. Maybe there's something, potentially, that I could do in the overworld! Yeah, this game has an overworld, and, well, there's this place, but that doesn't really have anything to do. Well, I guess I could show you this place. It's the golf clinic. The coaches here are first rates. If you want to compete, you need more distance. Fix that hook and lower your trajectory. I don't know about lowering it, that's kind of handy in a lot of circumstances, like trying to land the ball close. If you want to improve, get the coach's opinions. You want your shot judge? Uh, not at the moment, hold on a sec. Uh, <laughs> uh, you got a good distance for an amateur. You got a good you got a strong work. He's talking about this guy right here. Coach says, I turn my slice into a long distance hook. You actually can't change your shots of your character until a little bit later in the game, so these coaches can't really change anything about your swing. They could just evaluate your shot, and again, you can't really do much about this. And by the way, if you do a uh, power shot or you mishit your shot, like you don't get a nice shot, um, you'll, they'll actually tell you, hey, we can't evaluate your shot like that. It's crazy, so yeah. So I'm gonna do this one more time here. If you have an average shot that's straight, heights average, meet areas large with less waiver, it's a ball that needs carry and has classic control. Effect is average, timing's easy, and aim's decent. Now I'm gonna do this one more time and show you what happens if you should miss hit the shot, or, well, I'll actually use a power shot here just to show you. And, well, I can miss hit that, but <laughs> it's fine. It'd still be in the fairway. They're still gonna complain about me using a power shot if I'm not mistaken, so that's the whole idea of me showing this here. It's hard to judge a shot that's less than max power. If that's your best shot, hit with heavier clubs. I don't judge, judge miss hits. Let's try this again here. Let's do... Perfect power shot. Come on, Harry. Come on, here. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> I knew I could do it. <laughs> so they're gonna complain that I use the power shots. Because I can't judge that. Apparently. <laughs> you have an average... Oh, wait, what? I thought... Huh. They actually ju hmm, maybe it's only when you spin the ball they can't judge it? I'm gonna try that again. Okay, power shot. I'm gonna put backspin on the ball, and there we go! <laughs> yeah, maybe I was thinking of that they don't judge a shot when it has spin on it. So I put spin at the bottom right corner there by holding down. Uh, okay, let's see what these have to say about this! You put backspin on the ball! I can't judge your shot that way! I don't evaluate intentional shots. Well, I never. <laughs> Alright, so, 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 so. Maybe I'll get a, a match play going here with Putts, because uh, he, I'm probably going to beat him pretty easily, and what I'm going to want to do is uh, probably stop like after five or six holes of recording, just because of how easily I'm going to be able to beat him, to think you stole the championship for me. If it's a match game, I won't lose. How about it? Will you try me? Yeah, sure. I'll show you by winning this match. By the way, you can play any of these guys at any course in the game, but I typically like to play them on their home course. So in this case, Putt's home course is right here at the Marion Club. So let's plop ourselves over into a match and get a game started. Yeah, sure. Here we go. Hole one is a go. Woo. So, match plays rules are a little bit different than stroke rules, but still, you want to get the lowest score possible. So, I'm going to be playing for blood here and destroying this guy, hopefully. <laughs> nah, he's easy to beat, don't worry. Just put your balls in the fairway, put your balls on the green, second or third shot, third shot on par five, and you'll be able to beat him. So then it's his shot, you get to watch what he's up to, he's got a 100 yard, 100 yard, 200 yard drive, I was looking at one wood for some reason, that's why I said 100, it's kind of weird, I'm weird sometimes like that. <laughs> and let's see what his second shot's gonna be like, will it be on the green? That looks like it's gonna be off the green actually. Uh, well, it's pretty far away, but not quite off the green, it's gonna shot just short of the fringe, well, known as the green edge. Um, 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 I'll try there, and a little bit cut off power because of the wind. Hopefully that's not too much cut off power. 
Nope, that is just right. So that means... Birdie time. Let's see if he can make his birdie. Probably not. Even though his name is Putz, he doesn't putt very well. And he misses even the simplest putts at times, but I wouldn't really count on him to be able to make a putt of that length, actually. Because those lengths would be hard even for a master humans to make. So, yeah. Alright. Do not put your ball to the right if you can help it. Since I have a higher drive distance, I can go more left this time. I mean, d d yeah, don't put your ball to the right if you can help it, because... Yeah, the distance to the hole might... I mean, you might end up plunking it in the water if you end up leaving it short and hitting that slope in front of the green. And yeah! <laughs> and also, try and get your ball between those tree lines over there so that you, so you have a clear shot to the green. Um, he's, he's probably going to be on the green from here. Probably. Maybe. It's only 118 yards. There we go. I do believe he is about a scratch golfer, so he, he will be able to shoot under par generally, but it's still the thing of he's not super, super good at getting birdies, which is your key to beating him as a human. Or, you know, you could chip balls in. <laughs> That's even better than getting eagles on par fours. Uh, look at that. Look, why did he move the cursor there? Did you see that? See, he's not the best putter. <laughs> And I'm not going to move the cursor, I'm just going to hit a little bit more than 8.5 feet, and it'll go right in. Aw, oh, yeah. So far, oh, there's a fly in the room. This is not good. I might be distracted on my shots. Nah, not really. <laughs> it's above me. It's currently entranced by the lamp. <laughs> and let's see how this goes. Probably a little too far. Oh, no, 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 Hmm. Hmm. I think after this hole, I'll end off the part, actually, because I'll be able to finish this guy off um, by the next hole. I mean, by the next part, so yeah. And we're already around 15 minutes, so. Yep. Let's see if I can chip this in. I could try a putt because I'm just off the green, but I'm kind of want to have a little fun here trying to chip this in. Mm, top spin. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh. No, oh, that wouldn't have made it in anyway, I think, because it, it went in the opposite direction and I missed hit the ball. <laughs> well, I got a power, and he's probably going to get a power too. So, no point this time. By the way, these uh, the dots, actually the medals on the uh, results screen over here, represent how much you have left of the game, I guess you could say. Like, if, you, if I were to be 9 ahead at this point... I would be able to beat him because there wouldn't be enough holes left on an 18-hole round to uh, for him to recover. So yeah, but before there was 10 open metal slots here uh, because, you know, past the 10th hole it would be over if I won every single hole in a row. But Or if he won every single hole in a row, but I wouldn't count on it! <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I beat this putz putz. Uh, Forget it. <laughs>